Hello. Hi there. I was just filling my books in the shelf here and just fiddling around. I just didn't see you. Whoops. What's so funny? Why are you guys laughing so much? Huh? Is there something on me? Is there something on my... Oh, you guys are laughing at my glasses. Yeah, they're pretty silly, huh? <laughs> well, I found these glasses when I was organizing the classroom this morning, and I thought that it would be kind of funny to wear them in one of my videos today. So hopefully you enjoyed that little, little joke. <laughs> anyway, welcome back. Good morning. Hope you guys are doing great. Um, let's talk about our calendar. So yesterday, we put number 16 on the calendar. Today, we're going to put the next number on the calendar. What comes after 16? 17, that's right. Did you use my little trick in going back and counting up again? It works every time. Okay, so we're putting 17 on the calendar today. Let's look up here. What day of the week is that? Starts with a TH. It's the only day of the week that makes a sound at the beginning. Thursday, all right? And does anybody remember what month we're in? That's right, we're in September. September, and the year is 2020 or 2020. So let's put it all together. Today is Thursday, September 17th, 2020. Let's write that on our little date chart. And, all right, so it is Thursday, 9-17. 2020. That's the date we're going to work right on our schoolwork today. Don't let me forget because I forgot yesterday to write the date at the top of my paper until the end. So try not to let me forget. Okay. All right. What season are we in? We're in the season of summer, although it's been kind of cold the last couple of days. And for weather outside today, take a look out the window. What do you see? I'm seeing some cloudiness and fogginess. It's kind of cool outside. Um, so we're going to leave this as cool and foggy like we have the last couple of days. All right. Don't forget, tomorrow we have our Zoom all-class costume party Zoom meeting. All right. And Carson's mom told me a really handy-dandy thing that I can use the same Zoom link for all of our Friday Zoom chats. So I'm going to try to do that to make it a little easier for everybody. But don't forget, tomorrow, 3 o'clock, all-class costume party zoom meeting all right hope you can hopefully you guys are getting ready for it it's going to be pretty awesome all right let's switch gears we're going to talk about our reading so i'm going to take these off so i can see the paper and maybe they will come back again at a later date okay so for our reading this week we've been talking about chicka chicka boom boom which is a really fun book and um so you're going to take your literature packet, it says literacy packet, week two, grade one, 914 through 918, and you're going to turn to page 16, okay? It looks like this. Write your name at the top, okay? Write your name at the top. My name is Paul. And next to your name, write the date. Remember, we said it was 9 dash. 17 dash 2020. Look at that. I didn't forget to write my name and date at the top of the page. Woohoo! Okay, now let's read the directions. It says, readers think about the problems in the text and how those problems could be solved. The letters kept getting hurt. How could they solve their problem? All right, so before we do this, I want to talk to you a little bit about something. So hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I made this neat little chart. Hopefully you can see that okay. It says chicka, chicka, boom, boom, problem and solution. And here's my uh, chicka, chicka, boom, boom tree. And I wanna talk about some of the problems. So what you just heard in the directions of your paper was, the problem was that all the letters were climbing the tree and they fell out and got hurt. So 
on my, I have a couple little sticky notes here, and you're going to help me, and we're going to write down what the problems are, and see if we can come up with some solutions. Okay, so in most stories that we read, there's usually a problem that's presented, and then there's a solution at the end. Start thinking about that when you read stories at home with your parents at night before you go to bed. See if you can identify what the problem was and then what some of the solutions were to that problem, okay? So in our story, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, one of the problems was that all of the letters were climbing the tree. Okay, so I'm gonna write that down. All of the letters were climbing the tree. Okay, that is one of the problems right here. Let's see if I can get it close. A little bit hard to see. Okay, that's a little better. There. Okay, so one of the problems was all the letters climbing the tree. Another problem was the tree bent, right? Draw a little picture on here of the tree bending. It's another one of the problems, okay? And then all the letters fell out. That's a problem because they all got hurt, right? not fun when we get hurt. So the problems are all the letters were climbing up the tree, the tree bent over, and then all the letters fell out of the tree and they got hurt. Okay, so what can we come up with as some of our possible solutions? I'm gonna bend this down just a tiny bit, all right? Um, I'm thinking back to the story. I know that when all of uh, all of the children in the classroom were playing outside on the playground, you know, not everybody can ride on the swings at the same time, so we have to take turns. So I'm wondering if one solution could be that the letters could take turns climbing the tree. Write that down as one possible solution. Put that down here. Um, what's another idea? Notice there's some heavy coconuts in there. Maybe get rid of the coconuts. Reduce the weight of the tree so that it's not as heavy. That's getting rid of the coconuts. Um, what else? Could they use a ladder to climb the tree? Sure. Maybe use a ladder to climb the tree. That could, uh, provide some structure and some support. Or, I mean, the last thing that I could think of is they could go play somewhere else. you have any other ideas of how to solve this problem, you are welcome to share them with me, okay? So, on your paper it says, readers, think about the problems in the text and how those problems could be solved. The letters kept getting hurt. How could they solve their problem? So you're going to draw a picture of a solution here. So you could use one of the four that I put on there. Maybe you could draw a picture of the letters playing somewhere else draw a completely different, you, they could go play on the beach, you could draw a picture of a beach with a bunch of letters on it, or they could go take turns climbing the tree, you could show a couple letters down on the bottom um, waiting their turn, you could show a couple letters up in the tree, I'll just do a quick sketch here so that you can see what I'm talking about. So we'll put the letter A, the letter L, and the letter C in the tree, and then we'll have B, Q, 
and R waiting their turn, okay? And I'll put a little speech bubble in there, we can counting up to 20. One, two, three, 20. So there's the tree. This is just a quick sketch. You're gonna take more time to draw this. Make sure it looks nice, color inside the lines, do your best. And then at the bottom, I'm gonna write, the letters could take turns. The letters could take turns. Okay, you can pause this and copy down what I just did if that works for you, or if you have a different idea, do your best. Remember when you're spelling, use your bubblegum spelling, stretch out all the letters, and it's more important for you to practice writing letters even if you get them wrong than it is to not practice because you're afraid of making mistakes, okay? So just do your very best. When you're done with that, you're gonna to turn to the next page, okay? Number 17, do you remember what a noun is? It's a person, a place, or a thing. Person, place, or thing. Can you think of a person? Your teacher, your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your grandma, your grandpa, all of those are people. Okay, can you think of a place? School, your house, the beach, the river, the library. Can you think of a thing? What's this? This is a thing. A pencil. What about this? That's a thing. It's a noun. You're right. Okay, what about this? Yeah, a marker is a thing. It's a noun. Okay? You're going to take that page and you're going to pull it out. The page behind it, number 18, has a whole bunch of pictures on it. You're going to pull those out, too. Uh-oh, what are we up to here? Pull it out. And then there's a blank page, page number 19. It says, noun sort, Thursday 917. Put this down on the page. Then you're going to pick up your other things. Grab your scissors. Grab your glue stick. Get your materials ready so you can be organized. Okay, and then you're gonna cut out on the dotted lines around the edge of this picture. Okay. Now, don't rush ahead because there's a special way to cut this and I don't want you to make a mistake. If you make mistakes, they happen. Don't worry about it. Put your paper scraps in the recycle bin don't leave them on the floor because that might make your mom and dad a little grumpy. Okay, and then when you get this, it says a noun is person, place, thing, or not a noun. What you're going to do is you're going to cut up these black lines and stop right there. Stop right here on this black line. Don't cut all the way through. Okay. Go all the way up to the top and stop. I mean, all the way up to the black line and stop, and then all the way up to the black line and stop. So everything is still connected, but you have these little flaps down here, okay? Then you're gonna put glue right across just the top. So right behind this, this strip right here is where the glue goes, all right? So don't overdo it with the glue because then you won't be able to do this assignment correctly. So just put a couple strips of glue on there and glue it up towards the top of your paper on that blank sheet, just like this, okay? And because you only put glue on the top part, you should be able to lift these flaps up, just like that, okay? Once you've glued that part on, set that down, pick up your other piece of paper and start cutting out these little pictures. Take your time, go slow. If you need to pause the video, you can to catch up. Okay, take your paper scraps, throw them in the recycle bin. Cut out your little square pictures, just like that. Oh. 
do it over the table so they don't fall on the floor. Okay. There's two. Two more. Two more. Two more. Two more. Two more. You should have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve little square pictures. And what you're going to do is you're going to go through each picture. This one says swing. And you're going to ask yourself, is a swing a person, a place, or a thing? No, a swing. Well, okay. An actual swing, like on the playground, that would be a thing. But this swing is talking about the action of swinging, which is not a noun. So you're going to put a little glue on there. And I'm glad I picked that one up first because that one's kind of tricky. This one goes under the flap. So pick up the flap. Okay. And this goes under that flap. And you're going to glue it down under that flap, just like that. Okay, so I can flip this up and I can say, oh, what are all the things that are not nouns? There they are, okay? Picking up another one that says friends. Are they a person, place, or thing? Yeah, friends are people, right? So, you're gonna take your friends and put them under person right here it's hard to do this backwards okay glue it under person p e r s o n person <clears throat> how about fly this butterfly is flying that is not a noun that is a verb that you will learn about later Verbs are action words. So that goes underneath, not a noun. How about this one? This is where I'm at right now. School. Okay. School, you're right. You guessed it. It's a place. So find the tab that says place, P-L-A-C-E, and put the school there. Okay. Go ahead and do the rest on your own. I'm going to do the rest here. And then I will show you my completed and you can check your work, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and work away here for a few minutes and you go ahead and do the same. Do any of you play music at home while you're doing your work? I like to have soft music playing in the background when I'm doing my school work. Some people find that a distraction. Ooh, almost done. Okay, if you need to pause the video so that you can catch up, go ahead and do that. Pause it now if you're not finished, okay? If you are finished, I'm gonna hold mine up and show you what I got for my answers, okay? So under person, I have Friends, mom, and coach. Those are all people. Under place, I have school, playground, and store. Under thing, I have ball, cake, and jump rope. And under not a noun, I have swing, fly, and throw. All of those are action words, which are verbs that you will learn about. When you're done with that, you're done with reading today. After that, you can uh, take a little break, go do some brain break, have a snack, and we will see you back here with math and writing.